Welcome back. We are here on Eater looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 15th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have basically testing uh, these all-time highs here. We did break above them, but we did not uh, continue this rally up towards this. 65k and then 70k we are still hanging around here at, at this, uh, 62k at this current stage so this could basically look like we're going to pull back towards the 20 exponential at uh, give or take 50 uh, 58k but 68 60k should probably be an area where we'll find major support at this point if that does not hold then we could also drop at the very bottom to the 50 moving average Technical indicators for like the MACD are still bullish. Stochastic is a flat. The CCI is still bullish and the RSI is flat. So uh, yes, pullbacks towards the 20 is probably as far as this will go and then continue rallying towards the upside. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to rally. We're trading at uh, 2,368 at this current stage. We are significantly overbought, overstretched here. Pullback are expected at any point towards the probably the previous highs over here at the 2104 and just above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish, but uh, usually when we get this far outside or this top of the bullish band, we have a pullback towards 20 exponential as we see it here. We see it right here and the same we see it also over here and here. So historically, our deserved pattern the last few months that has basically been pulling back towards the 20 but the 50 is also possible as we basically see it here so let's look at cardano so cardano is um, basically had a massive rally all the way up towards uh, 1.52 broke down again and now we're trading just above the bollinger brand here and yes, this is usually a massive warning that uh, this could pull back towards the middle here, towards 1.2, uh, 2161. Technical indicators are all turning around at this current stage, even though they're bullish territory. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is becoming bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, but it's still at 214. So when we're under 100, when we, it'll basically be a sign that this will become uh, significantly uh, bearish. But we are also significantly overbought here at the 73 in the RSI. So pullbacks are most likely going to be expected. We most likely find resistant uh, support down here at the previous highs over here. And we'll have the 20 exponential moving in this direction and the 50 as well. And they will both offer support as they have done in the past. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin continues to rally. We're trading at uh, 273 at this current stage. And uh, yes, we are significantly overbought, but other indicators are very bullish. So we have been rallying since the very bottom here of uh, 166. And uh, yes, this when we basically fell down uh, in this period, it was expected for this to basically fall apart, but it completely turned around and uh, has shown um even more life so we have had this massive rally here break down towards the 50 rally again break down towards 50 rally towards the very bottom and now we have an even bigger rally uh, where we are significantly overbought and yes the most uh, if you look at historical patterns then a pullback towards the 50 down here at 200 is probably something to be expected so that is a fairly big uh, drop of uh, roughly 20% of the value, 20 25% of the value. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has uh, rallied towards the very top here at 70 and then broke down, and now we're just uh, hanging around here at 65. So, yes, we got way up ahead of ourselves, and usually when it goes this far towards the up uh, to the bullish band, it basically snaps back down. We're also significantly overbought here at 70, uh, 74 in the RSI. Technical indicators are turning around. For example, CCI is under 100 now. Stochastic is flat and the RMACD is leveling off. 
It's still in bullish territory above the signal line, but it is leveling off and hinting towards the downside. So if you also look at the historical pattern for this, then the 20 and the 50 have also been holding uh, really well. We had this massive move here in basically being in February, and then it lost, uh, give or take, 30% of its value. And then it grinded slowly towards the upside, and now it, again, we have taken off towards the very, uh, the very top. So pullbacks from here most likely will find major support at the previous highs at the 54. That's also where at the bottom, middle of the bullish band. If we were to break below that, then the 50 here at the 45 would also offer significant support. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, uh, very similar here. We also rallied above the bullish band and uh, then gave most of those gains back. So it, this has not rallied as much as the other cryptocurrency that we are looking at has not been that volatile. Uh, but we're trading fairly far above the 20 exponential still. It's not this move. So if this were to pull back, then it will not have this um, amount of pullback which you will lost by the, uh, give or take a one third of its value so here we could expect a pullback towards the 20 that's a 258 a break below that that is basically the 50 moving average at 227 but if the 20 50 moving average breaks then we could drop all the way down towards the 200 or 187 but uh, at this current stage we have not seen that kind of move uh, basically for a very, very long time. So at this current stage, we're just slowly grinding toward the upside. We are overbought at this point. Uh, technical indicators are turning around. So if the other cryptocurrencies basically pull back at this point, uh, then this should also be expected to pull back. So let's look at Thron. So Thron did pull back yes, yesterday quite significantly, and today we're hanging out at uh, 0 0.1368. Technical indicators are turning around, so they are slowly um, becoming bearish. So CCI and Stochastic are bearish at this point, and the MACD is basically flat and it's leveling off. We're on the edge of being overbought, so pullbacks from here most likely find support at uh, 0 0.1095. One break below this, well, then we could head all the way down to the 50 moving average. But at this point, it kind of looks fairly unlikely that that is going to happen. But it can happen if we fall all the way, uh, if we break the middle of the bullish band, then we could head towards a 0 0.0742. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over a Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.